Welcome to another video. So today we will be talking about the various genomes and genome sizes. This is one of ICMR's favorite questions where they ask you all the related questions to the genome sizes, the smallest genome, the largest genome, the first genome to be sequenced. And so I have brought to you this video where in one video entirely you will get all the information that you need to know. So thank you so much guys for commenting down below and asking me to make videos. Definitely that motivates me. Now, without much further ado, let's get right into the video. So firstly, the genome size of humans. Very frequently asked question. So basically, the genome size of humans is 2.9 billion base pair. Okay. Then next, you have E. coli. E. coli genome size is 4.6 MB. It is very important since Easter Asia coli, E. coli is a very commonly used vector. Next, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, one of our favorite yeast, which is used as a model organism to study different things. The genome size is comparatively larger because it's obviously a eukaryote, so it is 12.1 MB. Then next you have HIV virus, human immunodeficiency virus that is having basically the genome size of 9.7 KB. So a very small genome. Next, you have lambda phage, which is having a genome of 48 kilobase pairs. Then, very important question an organism, the first uh, genome of a living organism to be sequenced. It is Haemophilus influenza. The genome size is 1.8 MB. Very, very important. Next, you have the bacteriophage MS2. This was the first RNA genome. Don't get confused. The first RNA genome to be sequenced, that is 3.5 kilobase pairs. Next up, we have FAD Psi, and that is Psi X174. It is the first DNA genome to be, uh, to be sequenced, having base pair calculation 5.4 kilobase. Then you have agrobacterium fumifacients. I added it because it's a very important, again, vector because of the presence of the TI plasmid. Basically, what does it cause? Yes, the crown girl in plants. So important vector. And the it has two, basically, genomes. That is one linear, which is of 2.1 MB, and one circular of 3 MB. Next up, we have the largest genome. As in the previous year's paper, the largest genome is of amoeba dubia, which is 750 GB. Here we were all talking about KBs and MBs. Here we have amoeba dubia, the largest organism genome, the largest bacterial genome, that is um, 670 GB. Next, you have amoeba proteus. Amoeba proteus is 100 times larger than humans. So it has basically 290 billion base pairs. Next, homo sapiens, that is 3,300 MB. Then drosophila melanogaster, also called as a fruit fly. Again, a very important model organism. The genome size is 170 MB. Next, we have Hordium vulgari, that is partly genome size 5300 MB. Then, Arobidopsis thaliani, again, also called as the mustard plant, used as a very common model organism for plants. So, many of the Phenomenon were first discovered in this model organism that is Arabidopsis thaliani. So the genome is 120 M. Next, the largest bacterial genome is of the strain Sorangium cellulosum, that is 1478 to 125 base pair. 
okay uh, i think i made an error while talking about amoeba basically it's not a bacteria i'm sorry by mistake i said a bacteria okay so next one is carsonella rudi carsonella rudi is the smallest bacterial genome that is 159662 base pair then we have escherichia coli k12 which has a genome size of 4.6 mb this was asked in the previous icmr paper next you have pbr332 again very important plasmid that is plasmid designed by bulliver and rodrich that is 4361 base pair next the phage mid back genome size 10 kb you need to remember this with respect to the vector based questions that are asked a cosmid has the size of 42 kilo base pair then oryza sativa that is rice it was the latest genome to be sequenced that is 430 mb so that is for me for this video hopefully this is helpful to you i'll see you in my next one bye